This is one of the most common questions that I get asked in regards to Google Sites. Why can I not see the option to connect a custom domain with my Google Site? Well, this is a common issue that many paid Google Workspace users have. So today I'm going to simply share how you can enable the option to connect a custom domain with your Google Site in just a few minutes. Okay, so just quickly, before we go ahead and launch into this brief tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel. Okay, so with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into this brief tutorial showing you how to enable the option to connect a custom domain with your Google site. Okay, so as you can see, I'm inside a Google site. This is a Google site that I created in a paid Google Workspace account. So that means if I navigate up to settings and if I want to connect a custom domain, you'll notice that I do not have the custom domain option. That's because in order for us to connect a custom domain, we need to do that from our admin account. Simply head over to your browser and type in admin.google.com and log into your Google Workspace admin account. If you don't have access to your Google Workspace admin account, then you'll need to get in touch with your admin. Okay, so like I mentioned, this follows on from this tutorial, how to connect a custom domain to Google Sites. However, this video is specifically for Google Workspace users. Okay, so once you've logged into your admin console, simply navigate over to apps on the left-hand side, then navigate down to sites and click here. Under sites, simply navigate down to the bottom and locate custom URL. Then here we need to add a custom URL. Go ahead and click on add custom URL, then navigate down to continue. And here you want to add your Google Sites URL. To find this, head back to Google Sites, then you want to make sure that your website is published. If your website's not published, go ahead and publish your site and make sure if we navigate over here that your site is published publicly so anyone on the internet can find and open your website. Okay, so let's click done and then navigate up to this share icon. And in here, what we want to do is simply take this bit here, sites.google.com and then your website. Go ahead and copy this section or click on copy link, then navigate back to your admin console. Hey guys, just quickly before we get back to this video, I just want to mention my Sheetify CRM, an all-in-one business toolkit and CRM built with Google Sheets and designed for Google users. You can simply manage leads, customers, tasks, engage in email marketing, manage your inventory, tickets, and more. The great part is I've made this Sheetify CRM a one-time payment, no subscriptions, unlimited access, and future updates. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the link to my Sheetify CRM down below in the description. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Simply paste in your Google Sites URL, and then delete this section here, as well as this section over here, so that it's just the domain. Then click on continue. And here, all we need to do is click on www. Now remember the domains that you can see here are the ones that are connected to your Google Workspace account. These are the only domains that you can connect with Google Sites using a paid Google Workspace account. Then navigate down to continue. Then here, all you need to do is log into your domain hosting service, so remember, like I've mentioned in the tutorial that I've linked down below, I use Hostinger. All you need to do is navigate over to the DNS management page, then find the CNAME settings. Again, I show you in this tutorial, which is linked down below, then enter www as the CNAME value or alias. Then for the CNAME destination, simply add this section here, this URL. Then inside your domain hosting service, simply click on save changes. And once you've done that, navigate down and click on add custom URL. Now this process can take up to 60 minutes for the connection between your Google Workspace account, your domain, and the Google site that you want to connect your domain to. However, it's as simple as that to connect a custom domain to your Google site if you use a paid Google Workspace account. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief tutorial showing you how to enable the option to connect a custom domain with your Google site. Now if you have any questions about this process, make sure to pop them down below and also make sure to check out the video down below that will guide you through the process of actually connecting a custom domain with your Google site. Now with that said, thank you so much, I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.